Alright, in this video I'll be showing you how to install the Homebrew Channel on your Wii U in Wii Mode or on a regular Wii. Now for this you will need an SD card, like uh, 2 gigabytes or less SD card. Then you'll also need a Lego Batman, the video game for the Wii. Now there are other Wii games that you can use to run the exploit which I'll talk more about later, so let's get started. First, you can follow the link in the video description to weubrew.org. Then here it says, currently we have not been successful running homebrew on the Nintendo Wii U, but running code in Wii mode is possible. So basically, since the Wii U is backwards compatible with the Wii in you know, Wii mode, it's also backwards compatible with some Wii hacks and homebrew apps and whatnot. So you can just click Wii mode. And then under working exploits is kind of a list of Wii games and their corresponding exploits that's compatible with the Wii U. So if you had a Super Smash Bros. Brawl, you could run Smash Stat. And if you have Lego Batman, you can run Bat Hacks. If you have Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, you can run that. And if you have Lego Indiana Jones, you can run Indiana Pones. If you have Lego Star Wars, you can run Return of the Jedi. Then if you have Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Willy Breakers, then you can run Yu-Gi-Oh! or Yu-Gi-Va, depending on your region. But like I said, I'm, I have a Lego Batman, so I'll just click Bat Hacks. And then on the right side, you can click Download. And then at the top, you can click Download again. And I'll just download a small zip file. Then you want to follow the next link in the video description to bootme.org and here you'll want to download the HackMe installer you can just click that and it'll download another zip file and then you'll want to follow the next link in the video description to webrew.org and on the left side you can click applications this is kind of a list of the uh, homebrew apps and emulators and games and whatnot that'll be run in the homebrew channel on your Wii U or Wii. So. Now, what I'd recommend downloading is under utilities, I'd recommend downloading the homebrew browser. Now, the homebrew browser is kind of like a uh, an app store so you can download all these homebrew apps and emulators and games directly onto your Wii U or Wii through that over the internet instead of you know downloading them on your computer and trying to transfer them from you know SD card and all that so you just click download on the right side and it'll download another zip file then once it's finished downloading, you can go to the desktop or wherever you downloaded everything to. You can right click and extract it using WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. So be sure to extract all of them. Next you'll want to insert your SD card into your computer or memory card reader. Then go to My Computer. And right click on the SD card and go to format. Now be sure to back up anything important before you format your SD card. And be sure to set the file system to FAT32 and click start. OK. And once it's finished, you can click OK and close. And then open your SD card. And next, you'll want to open the Bat Hacks folder and copy everything from that, including the private folder. And 
just copy it directly to your SD card, just drag and drop. Then next you'll want to open the HackMe installer folder. Then copy everything onto the SD card, especially the boot.elf, the Wii load and licenses and uh, readme files and all that. Then next you want to open the homebrew browser folder. Then you'll want to create an apps folder on the SD card. So you can right click and then go to new folder. folder. Now this is case sensitive, so there is no capital letters. It's all lowercase apps, A, P, P, S. If you type anything else, this will not work. So you can open the apps folder on your SD card, and then copy everything from the homebrew browser folder onto the apps folder on your SD card. Alright, so I believe that's everything. So you can remove the SD card from your computer or card reader. And, and then insert the SD card into your Wii U or Wii. And then go to Wii Options, Data Management, Save Data, and then Wii. And then on the right corner, you can go to SD card. Then select the Bat Hacks uh, save game for your region and copy it. And select yes. Then, after you've copied the save game, you can go back to the main menu. and then start the uh, Lego Batman. the save game you just copied. And you are now in the back cave. Take the elevator on the right side. And then in the trophy room. right side and screw Robin and then on let's see and then go to the upper left corner and go through the door in the order to enter the Wayne Manor now you can select the character and choose the last enabled one on the low lowest row installer should load. Read the scam warning and then press 1. And install the homebrew channel. And then install bootme. Return to the main menu and then exit.
Right, and then here it is. This is the homebrew channel. Press the home button and then go down and exit to system menu. Right, and here's the Wii system menu. And there's the homebrew channel. And this is the homebrew browser app. Just load it. It'll take a second to connect to the internet. And check for updates and everything. So here it is, the homebrew browser. Uh, don't forget to like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe. You can also check me out on my website, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Thank you for watching.